Let's see two formulas for the sum of the first n cubes. The number i cubed can be represented by an i by i by i cubical stack of unit cubes. So this stack represents 1 cubed, this one represents 2 cubed, this one represents 3 cubed, and so on, where we can end at n cubed. In this case we've pictured n equals 4. When we put these stacks together, we see we have a representation for the sum of the first n positive cubes. Now if we lay out each of the cubes flat, each cube forms an i by i squared rectangle. So the first cube forms a 1 by 1 rectangle, the next one a 2 by 4 rectangle, then a 3 by 9 rectangle, all the way down to the final one which forms an n by n squared rectangle. The first rectangle represents the number 1. The second rectangle represents the sum of the two odd numbers 3 plus 5 as shown here. The third rectangle represents the sum of the odd numbers 7 plus 9 plus 11. So each of these rectangles can be decomposed into a sum of consecutive odd numbers. The last rectangle can be done so by decomposing it into n times n minus 1 plus 1 plus n times n minus 1 plus 3 and so on up to n times n minus 1 plus 2n minus 1. But this last number simplifies to n times n plus 1 minus 1. From these rectangular diagrams then, we see that the sum of the first n positive cubes is equal to the sum of the odd integers starting from 1 and ending at n times n plus 1 minus 1. This formula is amazing, but we can use these rectangles to say even more. We can break each rectangle into two separate rectangles, where one has dimensions n by the nth triangular number. We can take this smaller rectangle, rotate it, and glue it onto the other side of the rectangle, forming an L-shaped gnomon in each case. By construction, these gnomons all fit together perfectly to form a square. Because of the rectangle dimensions, we see that this square has a side length given by 1 plus 2 up to n, or the sum of the first n positive integers. This means the total number of unit cubes, which was given by the sum of the odd numbers from 1 to n times n plus 1 minus 1, must also equal the square of the sum of the first n positive integers. But then we can finish this off by connecting the first and last formulas, so that we see that the sum of the first n positive cubes must equal the square of the sum of the first n positive integers. This formula is attributed to the ancient Greek philosopher Nicomachus. The visual proof we just presented is due to Alfinio Flores, but there are plenty of other visual proofs of the same fact. You can see others on my channel, or you can find a variety of them in Roger Nelson's books, Proof Without Words, Volumes 1, 2, and 3. Have a look and let me know which visual proof of Nicomachus's theorem is your favorite.